not going back on October 1st protest. Organizers tell the federal government. Nigerians, this is getting tougher. Uh, by tomorrow, we are going to see how this we really actually takes effect. Because with the look of things, the, the Nigerian police and other, you know, sister securities, they are ready. The IGP don't tell them, say, made them wear camouflage, made them wear their hats. We don't know what they won't go do. Whether they, they go for war in Sambesa Forest, we don't understand, but that was the directives. So the IG of police have told Nigerian police to wear camouflage and wear hats, you know, say it will tell them what it then will do uh -huh, when time reach. So we don't know what uh, he's going to tell them to do. That is the order. Uh -huh. Whether he won't tell them, may they shoot uh, people or what, but we just pray that everything, you know, goes peaceful. Why the organizers have said that they know they fear no person, that the protest must, you know, take place October 1st, and they don't even know when this protest will end. You get the protest is going to continue until the government listen to their all their demands. Despite warnings from the federal government and the Nigerian police force, organizers of the October first protest against hardship in the country have vowed to proceed with the planned demonstration. Omoy Elishwari, a former presidential candidate and activist leading the protest confirmed on his social media platform on Monday that the nationwide protests will hold peacefully across the country with the main event taking place at Eagle Square, Abuja. According to Shoari, the protests are a response to the widespread dis uh, devastation, hunger, insecurity, and hardship inflicted on Nigerians by the current government. He cited the recent increase in petrol price, the evaluation of the Naira, and the rising market price as justification for the demonstration. The protests we hold across all parts of Nigeria because the scale of the devastation, hunger, insecurity, and hardship that this government has unleashed on Nigerians is national. Shawari stated, Shawari emphasized that the protests will be peaceful, contrary to government fears. He said, we will not be uh, deterred by threats or violence. Our only weapon is truth. And no amount of force will prevent us from speaking truth to power. The activists also highlighted the takeover of communities by band, uh, bandits and devastating uh, floods in cities across Nigeria. Under these circumstances, can anyone be surprised that Nigerians want to voice their displeasure with this government failure to address the issues affecting them? He asked. Shawari assured that thousands will participate in the peaceful protest, stressing that the government cannot silence the voices of the Nigerian people. The federal government and the Nigerian police force have warned against the protest, the protest citing concerns about public safety and potential disruptions. However, Shawari remains resolute, uh, stating, we are fully pre prepared. Our organizers are on the ground and we will not be going into hiding. So these are revolutionary times. Nigerians hit the streets in mass, starting from 7 a.m. on October 1st. The October 1st protest is expected to be one of the largest demonstrations against the current government policies. So guys, you've all heard it now. Uh, the protesters have said it is not so wrong for people to say, uh, for Nigerians to say, see, we are not comfortable with your policies and they do, do us well and do something about it, look into these policies. So why are they preparing for war? Nobody's going for war. So they said 
the protest is going to be peaceful. You understand? The protest is going to be peaceful because Nigerians are going through tough time. And um, in the comment section, some persons are saying here that those Nigerians are saying that Ushawari should go and protest. They said Ushawari, even if the 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 fuel price is being sold for uh for five thousand naira per liter, Ushawari will afford it. He's just fighting for the poor people. Okay, uh, you know the the truth is that. It, those of us too that are beneficiaries from the government, or can I say tribalism or religion, uh, fatal, we only talk down on people who try to speak the truth. We all understand that the condition we have found ourselves today in Nigeria is not favorable at all. You understand? If you get money, it affects you. You not get, you they, you you they dry. So that is it. If people don't speak out, who we, who we do? Because when people are saying this is not good, people could talk, say, who send you? So if people not speak out, who we do? You get. And, and they like this talk when people go talk, say, if you talk true today, you go buy. If you not still talk true, you go buy. So why can't you just do the right thing? You understand? People are saying, I beg, not go keep people, this, this, and that. If people not talk, who go talk? If people not talk, how would these people understand that what they are doing is wrong, even when they know that what they are doing is wrong? It could just be like, after all, they can do whatever they like. You can't take a whole country for granted and do whatever you like because that is how you want to go about it. Anyway, let's uh, quickly hit another news. I bet what's your take on this? Share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and big like us now. Subscribe if today is your first time of joining us here.